conduct. The Code of Student Conduct is established to foster and protect the four missions of the university, to foster scholarly and civic development of the university students in a safe and secure learning environment, and to protect the people, properties, and process that support the university and its missions. The core missions of the university are research, teaching and learning, and service. Preservation of academic freedom and free and open exchange of ideas and opinions for all members of the university are central to these missions. Today I'm going to talk to you about B, or A, student code of conduct, and why it is important. Ethics in an academic environment are imperative. Having a code of conduct that defines what an individual can and must do will improve the integrity of whatever learning institution that individual is attending and represent. Today we will discuss what a code of conduct is and who it applies to, expectations of students, faculty, and parents, disciplinary actions for students and faculty, and finally, why we need a student code of conduct. Much information I'm going to share with you today came from Internet uh, Resources, which is located uh, on the last page of my uh, PowerPoint presentation. However, my personal experience as an assistant marine officer instructor at the University of Virginia, I witnessed firsthand students and officer candidates at OCS who were disciplined within the NRTC program uh, and OCS due to misconduct. So first, what's what code of conduct defined by? Let's just see what the, what the dictionary says here. A code, a code, a systematic statement of a body of law, a system of principles or rules. Conduct. A mode or standard of personal behavior, especially as based on, on moral and principles. As defined by Oklahoma State University, Fort Worth, uh, Texas School District, the student code of conduct is a policy that details the rights and responsibilities of students. The code of conduct of every school is different, but the message stays the same. Never lie, cheat, or steal, and treat others with dignity and respect. Who does it apply to? The student code of conduct applies to all faculty and students. It standardizes, standardizes rules and regulations governing the faculty and the student body. Parents, also applicable to involvement is paramount. The more involved parents are with school activities, homework, and communication between the parent and teacher, the less likely children will have disciplinary problems at school. <laughs> Expectations of students, faculty, and parents. Students and faculty are expected to uphold standards set by their school. Every school builds their own standards based on morals and ethics. Parents need to be involved. Some of the violations that could be uh, uh, examples of here are disruptive behavior, drug and alcohol, weapons. I know you all probably know somebody, I know, I know I've seen it here. Integrity was another was another issue. We had a disenrollment, uh, uh, actually disenrollment the university for, for integrity, so that's another possible violation. Uh, disciplinary actions could be sanctions, suspension, or dismissal. Why have a student code of conduct? First of all, maintains order and enforce discipline. We've heard that before, probably, somewhere. Learning institutions from the preschool university level have, must have a code of conduct they must adhere to because a standard must be in place due to the type of school, whether it's a high school or university, geographical location, and a severe instance involving students or, or involving students or faculty must be taken into consideration and addressed to protect the rights of the students to receive education. LA County School District, I'm picking on a baby from LA County, it's going to be a lot different than, say, someone from Minot, since the school district state Minot, North Dakota. So, the code of conduct is pretty much by itself due to whatever incidents or kind of misconduct each school system may have. Not to hear anybody from either school districts, however, that's just uh, the way it is. However, that is, uh, that is, that is the uh, duty responsibility of the institution to ensure that uh, uh, a code of conduct is in place. School must implement policy change from year to year or semester to semester because of violations or with the intent of upgrading quality of learning and standards. So, school, in other words, lets the pattern just kind of go for a certain period of time that does not address it, then that school district or school, whatever, or what have you, is just um, infringing on that student's right to an education. Um, and also jeopardizing the uh, safety and welfare of the individual. Also, a code of conduct in the academic environment, how we're defined by the institution, will remind, remind students of their individual responsibility to demonstrate the highest standards of personal conduct. That code of conduct is there in place 
by the school says, hey, this is what you can and can't do. However, going back to the parents' responsibility, um, the parents need to reinforce discipline and stress, stress their, to their children the importance of academics and uh, their role, what they should should, should not be doing. doing. Um, if parents, if all parents can do that, you might not even need a, a, a code of kind in place um, uh, in, in some schools. Um, obviously, you know, you know, talk about students' rights and that sort of thing. Um, however, if parents do their job, um, you, you might not uh, require that. All right, in conclusion, we discussed that uh, ethics in the academic environment are imperative. Having a code of conduct defines what individual can and must do will really improve the integrity of whatever learning institution that individual is attending or representing. Today we discussed what a code of conduct is and who it applies to, expectations of students, faculty and parents, disciplinary actions for students, and faculty defined why we need a code of conduct. I think with a quote from this, uh, Jim Rohn, who's a, a, uh, a motivational speaker, discipline is a bridge between goals and accomplishment. This is even a work side of page. This is where a full majority of my research to get this to compile the speech along with my own personal experiences. This concludes my uh, speech, uh, my persuasive speech on the reasons why we need a student code of conduct.